welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video today i really appreciate it so today's look features a bronze eye and also a wood flip i hope that you enjoy this video if you end up enjoying this video please leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and without further ado let's jump right into this tutorial all right guys i'm using this wet and wild primer it helps to minimize the appearance of pores and any fine lines i'm just rubbing this into the skin and then i'm going to use this becca ever matte Paulus primer it helps to do the same minimize pores fine lines but this one also helps to keep the skin modified that's what i need because my forehead is really oily I'm taking my black opal true color foundation this is in the color topaz and I'm just using this little concealer brush to place this on certain areas of my face I got it in my hair but oh well <laughs> then I'm gonna use this brush to buff this into the skin You used to call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love And I don't want that Now I'm taking my concealer, this is in the color Fond And I'm just putting this under my eyes, to so highlight under my eyes down the bridge of my nose and my forehead. Ever since I left the city, you got a reputation for yourself now. Everybody knows and I feel left out. And I'm just using this damp beauty blender to blend this out. Ever since I left the city, you I think you noticed that this concealer isn't giving me much of a highlight. But later on, I'm going to add a much lighter concealer under my eyes so that I can get that pop. Just in a few. Now I'm taking Sasha. I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup and I'm just using this to set that concealer under my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. And I love it because it gives me a nice golden highlight. I just love that. Now I'm taking this combo for my brows. I'm just going to be using this pencil to shape my brows and also to fill them in. I just need the time and place to come through, place to come through. Oh, send me your location, let's ride the vibration. Then I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and I'm just using this to make little flicks on the beginning of my eyebrows so that it mimics hair. And I'm just going to conceal, clean up under those brows. And also on top. So don't take your vanish, don't leave my I accidentally take I accidentally over concealed my eyebrows, but I fixed that off camera. And that was the result. Now I'm taking my NYX jumbo pencil in white. It's called milk. And I'm just placing this down as my base. And then I'm going to use this Sasha Buttercup just to set that base so that it wouldn't be so sticky. And this is my first color I'm choosing. It's so close to my skin tone. And I'm using this fluffy brush. It didn't come in focus, but it's just my fluffy brush that I always use. And I'm just placing this 
into the crease and upward toward the brow bone. It almost looks like I'm placing down in nothing because it's so close to my skin color. Then I'm going to take this color from the Coastal Sense palette. It's called Coconut Husk. And I'm just placing this into the crease and just a little bit lower than the first transition color. I'm using that same fluffy brush. It's shedding quite a bit, but it got the job done. Now I'm going into my 88 palette and I'm just going to choose this dark brown. I'm using a pencil brush. It's sort of a fluffy pencil brush. And I'm just concentrating this on my outer crease and a little bit on the lower lid. On my lid. And I'm using circular motions and the same brush just to blend it out and to move that around to my liking. And I'm using a fluffy brush to further blend it out. There is no product on this blush brush, just a clean brush. I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> then I'm gonna take this black and I'm gonna use that pencil brush again. And I'm just gonna concentrate on the inner crease and the outer crease. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to be using circular motions again to blend this out. And circular motions really help the color to be concentrated in one area versus moving all over the eyelid. So use circular motion if you don't want your colors to go too high. That's what it looked like. Now I'm going to take this bronze color and I'm just going to be placing this onto the cre onto the lid like so. Why am I saying the wrong thing? Onto the lid. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? Free verse, yeah, I got that. RB for the pop tracks, we finna pop that. Two bros from Nati Puro, tell me how you gonna stop that. Then I'm gonna be taking this bronze color, it's called Caramelized, and I'm just spritzing my brush a little bit with some setting spray. And I'm just placing this into the tear duct and onto the lid, like so. Then I'm taking this lip pencil. It's a lip pencil, but I use it for my eyes and I'm just lining my waterline. This doesn't hurt at all. I know it looks scary, but I promise you it doesn't hurt at all. Now I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner and you guessed it, I'm going to be drawing my wing off course. Now I'm going to take this color from my Coastal Sense palette, it's called Wild Raisin and I'm going to be using a pencil brush just to smoke out my lower lash line. I love to do this step. I never used to, but I really love to do this step. It gives a little extra. Now I'm taking this mascara. I think it's an elf mascara. And I'm just coating my eye lashes to get rid of any fallout. Now I'm back going back to the face with this. NYX. This is a contour powder and I'm just contouring my nose. It's more of a cool tone contour powder. I don't know the exact name of that powder. Now I'm just dusting off that setting powder from the nose. Then I'm using more of a warm tone brown for my cheeks, just to contour my cheeks. How deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? What devotion are you? How deep is your love? I'm also using this to contour my forehead. Now I'm just using that same brush to 
basically dust off this setting powder and you will see the nice highlight that that powder gives I really recommend this powder now I'm gonna use my wet and wild blush I'm gonna leave the name for this in the description I am always using this but I can't remember the name right now and if you note my lashes are already applied then I'm gonna be using my highlighter by wet and wild it's called precious petal and I'm just concentrating that highlight right there as you can see then on the tip of the nose on my lips I went home with this on my lips like <laughs> I just run I just was so extra and then I and then I'm placing this on my cheekbones like the very the highest point of my cheekbones and then I'm using my Becca highlighter I love to highlight y'all and I'm just placing this in the same areas and also on the lip now I'm gonna be taking this lip pencil by Nabi it's called Coco Cocoa <laughs> Cocoa and I'll just be using this to line and fill in my lips Oh, send me a location less ride the vibration. I don't my lashes is doing something, but I don't know. Now I'm gonna use this bear it all just for the center of my lips to give me like a little ombre. A lot of the times I go for the ombre look. You can choose a different combo with this lip with this eye look I didn't particularly love this lip combo but it worked it was okay next time I'll do like a pink or a more of a maroon color with this now I'm using my setting spray to lock this look in place and this is the final look I hope that you enjoy it I hope that you give it a try remember and always remember to be beautiful and I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys and see you next time. Tell me who you girl. I who you. Oh, you're the one. One, two, two. Wine slow for me.